I'm so excited for today's favorites video. Are you such an angel? Wow, incredible. <laughs> guys welcome to today's video I'm so excited I, I am really so excited for this February favorites because to be honest with you I initially felt like I didn't have that much to talk about this month and then as I was categorizing these things I ended up having quite a bit of stuff and quite a bit of random stuff like different things that I don't usually include in favorites videos so let's just jump on into it because I got a lot of stuff okay so those of you who follow me on Instagram are probably already going to know <laughs> what I am going to uh, talk about first in this video. So Maggie was here this past weekend and she was playing this game on her iPad and I was like, what is that? She's like an escape room game. I've only done like a handful of escape rooms when I used to live in Florida. I haven't done it in a while, but I did recall really enjoying it. And so there's this app and it's called 50 Room Escape and there's like tons of different chapters and then each chapter has like literally 50 escape rooms that you can do. And it gets really difficult, but it's like, it's very therapeutic for me. Like, first of all, can you hear that sound? That's just like, that's that's a clue. You have to <laughs> you have to find the clue and get yourself out of the room. So anyways, Maggie left and I was like, well, how you haven't gotten a new iPad? I sold my last iPad because I felt like I didn't need it. And I was just like, I really want an iPad. So the first two things on the list are gonna be this iPad. I got the new, iPad Air. It's actually blue, but I didn't really care that it was blue because I was going to put a case on it anyway. And the Escape Room app. I think it is so fun. And I did decide to get the pencil because while we're on the topic of apps, I want to show you um, this app called Good Notes. And it's really cool because like, so when I was studying for my midterm this weekend, you can import PDFs to the Good Notes and you can literally like draw all over it if you want to like this pen is just let me get the glare off there so you can see there we go this pen is just like so great for note taking and for school and i had my laptop on one and then i propped up the ipad on the other side because i got the little like smart case you know so like just do that it's like a little mini computer it's so amazing like i forgot how cool ipads were and then anything on them always just looks so much nicer because the graphics are obviously a little bit better than an iPhone. So playing the escape room game on the app has just been like the biggest stress reliever for me. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but it's like, it forces me to not like have my brain going a thousand miles an hour to try to like just worry about something. And I'm only focused on getting out of the stupid room. So I don't know if you're somebody who likes playing games, definitely recommend the 50 room escape. And also if you have an iPad and an iPad pencil or Apple pencil, the good notes app is super great for that and that was also recommended to me from you guys so thank you oh so we're clearly on the random section of things and the second thing i want to talk about is this vanity planet scale i love the stuff on vanity planet because they have like really unique things there's like a lot of skin the um uh steamer is it a facial steamer yeah the facial steamer i have for them absolutely love it and it's just like all their stuff is very sleek looking. So I don't know if you'll be able to, to tell when I'm holding this up because obviously I'm not stepping on it. But there's like these different sections on here. And when you step on the scale, it shows you like your water weight, your bone density, your muscle mass, your obviously your current total weight, and then it saves it to your profile. So if you're somebody that's looking for like a really sleek scale that doesn't take up a bunch of room, but it's not like ugly and it has a little bit more data, this one's really good and it's super cheap. They did send me a code for this. I think it's 78% off or something. Either way, the description box will have all of the links to every single product I'm talking about today. But that one's been chilling in my bathroom. It just looks really nice. And I know a lot of my clients ask me for like scale recommendations. And that's one thing I don't think I've talked about in years. So, okay. Two other really random things are actually apps, but detail apps. First one is going to be dog TV. And this was recommended to me by a follower. Dog TV is literally like a live stream of things that are supposed to engage your dog if you're not there. And Bailey really loves watching TV. Like if she sees dogs on the TV, she will totally like engage with it and be very very attentive and watch it and her tail wags and so cute so I downloaded it a couple of nights ago and left it on for her and it was so so cute to see her like sitting at the edge of the bed and watching the TV so I don't know I just thought that was really cute and I know a lot of you guys are also dog lovers so if you have never heard of dog TV you do have to pay for it unfortunately it's like a monthly subscription but there's also like some cool informational videos on there and like tutorials and other things I personally haven't checked any of those out I've only been using it for the live stuff like the little live stream but either way 
great. It's been so adorable and I just feel better about it if I have to leave the house and leave the dogs with the TV on. So then the last thing in the rando category I want to talk about is the tread boot camps that I have been doing on the Peloton app. Now, if you have not seen my two Peloton videos, um, I will put them in the click bar at the top. I always forget what side it's on. It's one of those sides. And um, I reviewed the Peloton bike, obviously, when I originally got it. And then I also did a workout style with me video where I was doing Olympic weightlifting. And then afterwards, I did a bike boot camp. But recently, I've been absolutely loving the tread boot camps. And my personal favorite Peloton instructor is Jess Sims. I just love her energy. She's not like overly corny, but she's still like encouraging and really, really exciting to watch. Like she really keeps me focused. Maybe I'll celebrate your first milestone. Thank you for choosing this class to do it with me. Every Saturday she does something called the Saturday 60, which is 60 straight minutes of going from the treadmill to the floor, back to the treadmill. It's typically about five to six sections depending upon like the actual day's workout. It's a full body workout. And a lot of people were asking if you can do the Peloton tread boot camps without a Peloton tread. And the answer is yes. So I wanted to quickly touch on that because I know um, I talked in the last favorites video about having my Peloton highlights in my Instagram feed, and a lot of those are tread boot camps. So I have a Nordic track treadmill, and it's just like, I, I want to say it's called the Quad Flex, or like the Quadra Flex, or something like that. But either way, it has um, elevation. I can't think of what that's called. Incline. Oh my God, get it together. Incline and speed, and that's really all you need. The only difference, obviously, aside from the beautiful, cool screen, and it looks beautiful, uh, is the fact that the Peloton bootcamp treads have what's called free mode, which is kind of similar to an assault runner, if anyone's ever been on one of those. Basically, it propels front and back if you so choose. So their free mode is where you control the resistance on the treadmill, and it's really difficult. It's kind of like a sled push. So in order to replicate that, I just put my treadmill on an incline of four and I'll just adjust the speed accordingly. But you can totally do everything else. My speed and incline matches any other treadmill that you're gonna use and same with the Peloton tread. It's just really, really fun. I think one of the things I personally just really enjoyed about doing the boot camps is that it is legitimately 60 minutes straight of like, boom, you're not stopping moving. Which for somebody like me, who like I was kind of talking about the escape room thing, I need something to keep my attention because I'm like all over the place trying to do 50 million things at once. I don't ever just like sit down and focus on something. And when it comes to working out, I can get really distracted by my phone and just like, you know, dilly dallying around, but you really can't do that with the boot camp workouts. Both the bike and the treadmill, they are freaking intense and they're great workouts and you can scale up or down at whatever fitness level you're at. So like a lot of times when they do like dumbbell snatches, which is really cool because obviously, you know, similar to the CrossFit world, they'll be using like 15 pound dumbbells. Well, you know, for somebody like me who's been doing CrossFit for years, typically in a CrossFit style workout, dumbbell snatches or any dumbbell movements for RX weight is 35. Luckily, I'm fortunate enough to have all the different types of dumbbells in my basement, so I just scale the dumbbell weight up to make it more challenging. And it's really great. Like, I have just been absolutely crushing the boot camp classes lately, and if you don't have the Peloton app, the first two months are free. Honestly, Peloton needs to sponsor me, seriously, because I'm just giving them so much free advertising. <laughs> okay, let's go into the beauty category, my personal favorite. Surprisingly, I don't have a ton of beauty. I feel like recently, I've been getting a little burnt out on the beauty world and I've kind of slowed down on my purchases, which bless, oh. but, but this is a really, really cool. And this is a new Tula product. This is, I wiped it off. So sorry, it's a little weird. This is their new mask and it is a clay stick mask, which is really interesting. Here's my thought on this. So basically this is a detoxing and toning face mask stick. It smells really, really fresh. Like, ah, uh, like, Ki kiwi maybe just very like citrusy i am very very picky when it comes to scents on my face i don't like lingering things 
But hear me out on this. So this is the new Clay Date Detoxing and Toning Face Mask Stick. And reading it off the website because I threw the threw out the box, it is a Mediterranean clay based stick to draw out dirt and excess oil without drying, apple cider vinegar, that's probably what I'm smelling, and witch hazel tighten the appearance of pores while a powerful blend of prebiotics and probiotic extracts help balance the skin. So this is really awesome for blemish prone skin, which I personally can't use any harsh chemicals like benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid. So I have to really be careful when I'm treating any type of active breakouts. And this is the bomb, especially if you wear a mask all day, you can literally use this around where your mask is breaking you out and then put your mask on. So it's acting kind of like a barrier between your skin and the mask, but also helping to treat the breakouts and like all the crap that's going on under your mask. But if you do need to take your mask off for something, it's not like you're wearing like a charcoal mask all over your skin, you know? So it's really thin and you don't really see it on your skin. Amazing. Absolutely love this. The only thing is you have to really make sure that you clean this balm. So take like a little alcohol pad and wipe it off. That's just what I do just so you don't get any like bacteria stuck on the stick. So next up, speaking of Tula, I really love these little gift sets, especially if you're someone looking to try Tula. And I know I don't really talk about that too much, but I feel like at this point, those of you that have been following me for long enough, I've been with Tula since 2015, so, or maybe it was the beginning of 2016. Either way, five or six years at this point, and I just love them. And if you're not sure what to try, I would definitely recommend getting this little kit. It's called a On The Go Favorites Mini Kit or something, I think that's what it is. Oh, Best Seller, sorry, Best Sellers Kit. And these are honestly the top rated products that I would recommend to someone if they were looking to try Tula for the first time. First and foremost, look at how cute this is, okay? It's the Face Filter Blurring and moisturizing primer and this is my all-time favorite primer I'm wearing it today anytime I do my makeup I have this on had this on on my wedding day this is my ride or die primer it's amazing for blurring but also not drying your skin out and making it look like matte or just like crumbly I don't know sometimes the the primer pore ones can just leave that weird residue on your skin and I hate that. So this packet comes with the Cult Classic Purifying Face Wash, which I like this one and also the Gentle Milk Cleanser. Those are the two that I rotate through the most. And then if you are looking for uh, a little bit more of like an exfoliating scrub, this is the So Polish Exfoliating Scrub, which is really, really great for extra exfoliation. And then obviously just the regular 24 seven moisturizer. So these are my personal favorite products. So I like that they make this in a kit. And if you're looking to try it, but don't want to spend a ton, it's only $52. And then obviously you can use my code manager for an additional little bit off. So love that for us. Okay. And the last two things in the beauty category are actually hair care products. And if you recall my last favorites video, I had a ginormous box of Sephora hair products. And there's two that I actually really, really love from that box. I don't know if I bought this from this four box, actually. Either way, I love this. This entire line of Kerastase, though, has been fantastic for my hair health journey. If you don't know what had been going on with my hair, after I had some stress-induced hair loss, took out my extensions, went short, and I'm actually stopping adding bleach to my hair, which is why you might notice in this video, it's a little bit more natural. I just left the like front pieces because I just personally like a bright front face look. But the rest of this color is my natural color, if you will, with a little bit of low light. So I'm kind of trying to like transition out of putting bleach on my hair and obviously as minimal heat as possible. But these two I've been using consistently since I took the extensions out. But this is the Prep and Rally, which is so cute. The Dry Bar Detangler. It just smells so stinking good. Like I don't even... This is what I just spray on my hair the second I get out of the shower and I use my wet brush as soon as I get out, detangle my hair with this and then I've been putting in these, this is in French so I don't even know. I feel like I always mention like the things I learned on TikTok but it's so true. I learned about the importance of pH balance in your shampoo and conditioner and recently as I've been on this hair care journey, I have been only washing my hair once per week and going from a higher balance pH uh, shampoo and conditioner to a lower balance. This is not as low as you could go. There are some other really great options out there, but I've just never tried them before. And I've personally seen really great results with Kerastase. And this, this line is like a 5.5 and our hair naturally, I think I'll pop up if I'm wrong, but I think it's between a 3.5 and 4.5. So the goal is to not use a shampoo and conditioner that's really, really high on the pH balance scale so that you're not like throwing your hair out of whack, essentially. I've seen really great results with it. I absolutely love the smell of it and it just makes my hair so shiny, so healthy. 
And you know, that's what we're here for. Okay, moving on to my favorite category, which is the food category. I'm hoping that by the time you guys are seeing this video, Built Bar will have these available again on their website. I have a feeling they're bringing them back. <sighs> these are the best. I'm gonna open this just to show you the top of these because they have started doing this with their newer bars. And this is the coconut brownie chunk. Okay, let me let it focus here for you. Do you see these chunks right here? And right here, oh, going opposite directions. Those are real brownie chunks. And they are so good. Now, they have really, in my opinion, improved their consistency. I personally have always been a fan of like the very nougaty, like chewy bars, but I know that's not really everyone's cup of tea. However, if you can see on the inside of this newer bar here, it's got more of like a, it's like a fluff texture. Like, yes, it's still kind of chewy. I just like them in the fridge because I like them to be colder, but it's not like, it's not pull apart chewy. Know what I mean? I think it's absolutely amazing. And this flavor, if you love coconut and you love brownie chunks, the second that they release these, you need to hop on them. It really, it really pisses me off that they don't keep the best flavors. I don't know if you guys got to try the white chocolate ones, but the white chocolate cherry and the white chocolate coconut were absolutely amazing. And they were like limited edition. Like why do they pick the best flavors ever to be limited edition drives me bananas. But anyways, they do have a dark chocolate chunk cookie dough. If it's not freaking sold out, that's really good. Similar to that, except for the chunks are cookie dough. And if you can't get your hands on any of those, but you still wanna try them, my personal favorites are peanut butter brownie, regular peanut butter, coconut, apple crisp. And if you do like fruit ones, the cherry barcia one is reminds me of those old school candies that used to come in like the the tins with like the orange and the chocolate and cherry and all that. Love it, it's amazing. But yeah, so definitely check out their website, see what they have available, sign up for their little email thing so you know when they're releasing new flavors. I typically post about it, but I have all my clients obsessed with the flavors of Bilt Bars. Moving along is <laughs> a freaking seasonal flavor. Why, I don't know. But if you know me, you know I love this Pepperidge Farm Swirl Bread around the uh, October-ish time. I love the pumpkin spice one, the cinnamon one, and these breads are phenomenal for French toast. Of course, you know, with spring right around the corner, they released a limited edition strawberry, and I was kind of on the fence about it because I typically don't like strawberry-ish products, but I did make French toast with this, and it was phenomenal, so good, absolutely loved it it held up really nicely i would probably recommend toasting it first or at least waiting till it gets a little bit older because i did it a little bit too fresh and it was kind of soft for my liking but either way it was really good and i just have never had the strawberry flavor of this bread before and it was really good so highly recommend then we got an aldi an aldi fave oh fat girl over there wants a little chip you want a chip you have to get your fat butt up then you are not that fat oh God. <laughs> these, these are not in my Aldi haul because I actually found them after I went back to Aldi. And these are the pancetta and Parmesan kettle chips. Now, personally, I'm not a big chip girl, but if the chips are very crunchy, like these kind of resemble the Trader Joe's rosemary fingerling chips, those are amazing. So, so good. And these are kind of a good dupe for them, although just a different flavor profile. I personally love pancetta and Parmesan the Italian in me, and these are really, really good. They have just enough hint of pancetta where it's not like greasy tasting, but it still gives like that little hint of salami-ish, if you will, and the Parmesan is so good. So I really love these. Not a macro-friendly or like healthy food at all, but they're freaking good. Speaking of healthy foods though, I'm so excited about this because I have to be honest, I am typically a super, super duper creature of habit. When I find something that I like, I do not stray from it. Like. I will just eat and drink the same thing or combination of things over and over and over again. Anxiety lifestyle. But anyways, so there are typically two different types of driven protein that I drink. For my everyday shakes, I like to drink the ISO drive, which I drink in vanilla because it's just like a very minimal, like it's not very overpowering and you can make so many different types of shakes with it because it's not super strong. So like if you wanted to do something more dessert style, you totally can. But if you wanted to go more of like the fruity route, you absolutely can as well. And obviously because it's isolate, it's super easy on my stomach, 99% lactose free. We love that. But um, I have never tried the Profusion 7 in Cafe a lot. Cafe a lot. And I typically, if I'm drinking the Profusion 7, which 
as a side note, the difference is basically just that the Profusion 7 is going to be a more like well-rounded macro breakdown. So it's got six grams of fat, 12 carb, and 24 protein. And this one is made with MCT oil, but as with any protein, they're all digestive enzyme enhanced, which is probably why they never upset my stomach. But anyways, I've been making a coffee protein shake, which I've been blending with usually just the whey vanilla and then a little bit of coffee and like some chocolate chips. But I felt like it needed a little bit more of a coffee flavor. So I decided to go with this mostly because the Profusion 7 will give you more of that like creamy and like thicker base. And amazing. It is so good. It tastes just like a coffee frappuccino from Starbucks, especially with the mint chips. What is that? The Java chip frappuccino? literally a dupe for it with way better macros. So if you're in the market and you need a new protein and but you want to get something different than isolate, I would definitely recommend Profusion 7. Um, and then there's also obviously like casein and other, but I just personally don't enjoy casein. So and last up on the food favorites, we have two new dairy free items. And I'm so excited about this because I did not think I was going to like this. So I actually found this at Target, and this is the Good Foods plant-based buffalo style dip. I have been dipping my chicken tenderloins that I've been making in the air fryer in this dip, and it is so good. The macros are also amazing for two tablespoons, three grams of fat, three carbs, and two protein. And these are the only ingredients, cauliflower, carrots, red bell peppers, hot sauce, almonds, almond butter, lime juice, red onions, cilantro, garlic, and sea salt. If you like buffalo, but you're also dairy free, cause typical buffalo style dips like this, not necessarily sauces like that you would coat wings in, but dips are traditionally made with like heavy whipping cream. So not only are the macros super high in fat, but obviously us dairy free folk cannot eat them. And this is so good, such a great dipping sauce for chicken. I don't know what else I'm gonna dip in there, but love it for the chicken. And then I found this little guy at Fresh Time. I love this brand of butter. Their vegan butter in the tube, not the tube, the tub is so good. It's oat milk and sea salt vegan butter. I swear it tastes better than regular butter and I love it. And I didn't know that they made these little shreds. So I picked this up in the pepper jack flavor. The cool thing about this dairy-free cheese in particular is that it does have a little bit of protein. So typically with dairy-free cheeses, they are gonna be like kind of similar to regular cheese in terms of fat and carb, but they don't have the protein because they obviously don't have the whey and dairy. Well, this one has only five grams of fat, five carb and three protein. So a little bit better of a macro profile and it's actually really good. That's all that I have for you in this monthly favorites. I hope that you enjoyed. And of course, as always with my favorites video, I love when you leave me suggestions of things you think I would like in the comment section. So please feel free to do that. And of course, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click subscribe so you never miss Monday or Thursday. She's back. She's back on Thursday. But I don't know if it's going to be consistent. So please don't get mad if I don't continuously do it on Thursdays because NTP school is like a lot. Like it's, I cannot wait for August to be done with this crap because I am just like, I've been over my head in schoolwork, but your girl did take her midterm this weekend. I got a 100 on my midterm. So go me. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> that's the end of this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.